In this problem, we're given the following piecewise defined function. It has three pieces, even though it's considered one function. Uh, it has three pieces. The first piece is a quite simple one. It says f of x equals 1, which is equivalent to me just simply writing the equation uh, y equals 1. And it's the equation y equals 1 over this restricted domain. So before I graph it over this restricted domain, let me show you what it would look like uh, over its whole domain. The line y equals 1. I'm getting that from this right here. f of x is supposed to be equal to 1. So it's a horizontal line through 1. And this would be the graph of y equals 1. And I'll put arrows on both sides to say that it's going that, doing that forever. So there's the line y equals 1 over its entire domain. The problem is they said to only graph y equals 1 if the x values are strictly less than or equal to negative 2. So what they wanted me to do is only graph the portion of the line y equals 1 for x values less than or equal to negative 2. So here's negative 2. So we were supposed to start on the line at x equals negative 2. That's what this line right here shows. And graph the line for x values less than that. So here are x values less than negative 2. We were only supposed to graph this portion of the line. So if you let me go back and erase all of this and just graph the portion we need to graph, It'd be y equals 1, starting at x equals negative 2, and going to the left forever. Then that brings us to the second piece of the equation, which is y equals negative x minus 1. So here's y equals negative x minus 1, graphed over its whole domain, and then I will restrict it accordingly. Uh, so y equals negative x minus 1 is a line that has a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of negative 1 meaning to get from one point to the next, I need only go down one, right one, down one, right one, and then I guess the opposite of that would be up one, left one, and it would just keep going like this. So over its whole domain, this is the graph of y equals uh, negative x minus one, but they didn't want me to graph it over the whole domain, they only want me to graph it for x values strictly greater than negative two, which is right here. So bigger than negative two, that's over here, and strictly less than or equal to 1. So we were only supposed to graph the blue line over the domain negative 2 uh, to 1 here. Uh, so these x days correspond to the part of the graph that I'm highlighting in, say, green here, that uh, we were only supposed to graph it from x equals negative 2 to x equals 1, which is over here. So we were only supposed to graph this part of it and it turns out that we weren't actually supposed to graph what happened at negative 2, but because what happens at negative 2 on my new curve and the red horizontal line, um, they, they match at that point. So when I erase the screen here and graph just the portion of the line that they wanted, uh, I guess I'll do this in, in blue. Uh, we'll start here, and that would be the leftmost point at negative 2. Go down one, right one, down one, right one. When do I stop? When I get to x equals 1. In fact, if you plugged x equals 1 into this equation, you'd get negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So plugging in 1 yields negative 2. And I'm going to put a closed dot there because of this line. that The function is defined to be this equation when x is 1. So we have this portion of the line here. And then my last equation is as easy as the first. Instead of y equals 1, the equation is y equals negative 1. And y equals negative 1 is quite simply a horizontal line through negative 1. There would be the graph of y equals negative 1 over its entire domain. Uh, but they don't want it over the entire domain. They only want that line uh, for x values strictly greater than 1. So. Uh, here is x equals 1, and when you plug x equals 1 in, you're supposed to get out negative 1, but we're actually not supposed to use the equation at x equals 1 because there's no line here, but if we did, it would put you right here. So I'm going to put an open circle there to indicate that at x equals 1, the function is really defined to be down here at negative 2, uh, but the new function does start right here. And I'm supposed to graph y equals negative 1 for x values strictly greater than 1. So that's this way. So this is the portion of the line y equals negative 1 that I was supposed to graph. So let me uh, delete the entire equation and graph just the piece of that horizontal line that I was supposed to graph. I was supposed to graph the horizontal line 
y equals negative 1 for x values strictly greater than uh, 1. So that starts here and goes this way. So there we have y equals negative 1, but only over the domain, my x values. If you look up on the x-axis, I graphed it for x values bigger than 1, but this open circle says not including 1. So to graph this in math AS, I'm going to clear all to make sure there's nothing on the graph. And I'm going to hit line. And I'm going to start up here at y equals 1, starting at negative 5. I click and let go. And then uh, what that does is it's going to graph a pretty straight line. Don't hold the mouse button down. Go up to x equals negative 2 and click again and let go. And then the line was supposed to go down to the point 1 comma negative 2. Click and hold down. And then, or excuse me, don't hold down, just click it. And then to get this line here, I need to click line to get off the line tool for a second so that I can jump up and um, graph y equals negative 1 here from here on forever. Now, to complete the graph, I want to hit open dot and graph the open dot here by simply selecting open dot and clicking right here. And I would imagine that if I click dot, that would give me a closed dot to indicate that where these two pieces met, um, that there's a closed dot here, meaning when you plug in negative 2, you do indeed get out uh, 1. The open dot tells people that when you plug in 1, you don't actually get out negative 1. That's just where that function starts. But you do indeed get out negative 2. So I could put a dot right here to, just to indicate clearly that if you were to plug in 1, you get out negative 2.